Good afternoon, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. How many of you have been doing overcoming epilepsy for quite some time? You see how we cannot give up. I've been going through it since I'm a teenager, and I have hopes to. Looks like that surgery can happen. But let me share with you. He's the brother, brother. Right. Let me give him, let him give you all the details of what he can do. My name is Brent, and uh, I had epilepsy since I was born. I've been dealing with it for 60 years, and I've had been through many different kinds of seizures. Some grandma, my last grandma, which is a shaking tonic, tonic they call it. Uh, four years ago on the sub, on the train, that's a train. Uh, but uh, I have something, a partial complex with staring spells. Those I have. Every six months or so, not exactly, but in that, that general area, um, I, uh, I'm doing well overall. Take my medication, I'm on Mixel and uh, Keppra, and that seems to be working for now. It is challenged. I, uh, I have balance issues, but that's not stopped me. Like uh, Afi said, not giving up. I got through it, I'm doing well. I can't complain. Everything's going well. I've had challenges. Everyone has to challenge with something. So, not a big deal. You said you haven't had a seizure. A grandma in four years. Four years? Congratulations. Thank you. You got four whole years without a seizure? You been that long? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's an awesome, awesome one. Thank you. Can't wait till I get that big old seven. You got to go and do it. Mm. Maybe I should, I'm going to say open. Let me see if I really need to do another surgery. But what else did you tell people to handle the procedure that you have? Well, when, first thing to do is to clear out anything that's sharp, like right now we're in concrete, so put something in, cushion the concrete, or if you're, or if you're high up, go away from the edge or whatever, to take care of yourself. Make sure you're healthy, number one. Take care of yourself, whatever that entails. Then be with the person and let them have the seizure. You can't stop it. And be there afterwards, say, I love you, you're here, you're supported. And uh, when, they're, when they're on the ground, if they go to the ground, you turn their, their head to the left or right, I can't remember, I'm not sure. I think it's the left, so they don't swallow their tongue. One side of the eye, I think it's the left, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, just let them have the seizure and be there to support them afterwards. The key thing to do is to get away from places to be hurt. Where can you be hurt? Like I said, concrete. Uh, I hurt myself when I was playing basketball. I fell down a basketball court. That was very painful. I, I hurt myself when uh, I had this last grandma seizure. I had a, a, a steel um, stanchion of the, of the bus. That hurt. But, Overall, seizures, for me at least, I haven't been that much pain involved. I'm very fortunate. I have some called like, an uh, aura, which is a precursor to a seizure. I've learned now that actually is a seizure, but they call it an aura. What's the difference? No, I don't know. They're always changing the names on something. <laughs> but uh, I get a warning before it happens, so I can take care of myself. What does that entail? Sitting down. Most of the time, it's sitting down in a comfortable chair in the shade if it's hot out. Sitting down in the sun would not be any good. I have some, uh, so I, seizure, the sun affects my epilepsy. I get dizzy if it's too hot out. So I have to calm down and take a step at a time. It's very important to do a step, not worry, because I, my tendency as a, as a, as a person is to rush through things. When, I, when I'm feeling an epilepsy come on, I can't do that. I gotta slow down. That's the key for me. It's great to have um, getting more people to be aware of this. Mm -hmm. Because clearly, when I'm having my thing, I'm just completely unconscious. So it would be awesome if you guys would simply just walk me, just keep me walking or sitting down and ask me a couple of questions yeah. to see when I come back to consciousness. Because again, you know how we lose consciousness for like two to three minutes. And you know, all the season, two to three minutes is not an emergency. No, it's not. He is not know what the ID brace is. I'm sure he's got it. Just look for that medical ID brace for a person. You see them acting real weird? That's the better name of the call. Yeah. 911 is not necessary. Any seizure, five minutes, you know? It's not an emergency. Yep. 
and all of us over here are just encouraging each other. And it feels so good to have a loving family right here. Mm -hmm. I actually got me a little walk. I hope I got some good vibes over here. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping everybody tone and everything. It was just shine off. You're not going to let this bother us. Hey, obviously, great. Great is coming. You see, you're all over here at the Rose Bowl. Oh, you can just check out next time. Make sure you check it out. Mm -hmm. See how you can connect. You will all go to ever left you. See all the other events. And you'll keep us all encouraged. Encouraged. And you'll lift And keep them fast enough for any of us. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Enjoy your week and your past that love to five people you do not know and recognize how you're the best. Because when you pass your love to people with epilepsy, they will be so grateful to get attention. But most people are act like they're afraid to get attention. Good attention, attention yeah. When you give attention and shine the love, those people will be very, very grateful. Yes, they will. Do a great, great loving work and people will see that you are truly a loving work. Enjoy this week. We're just passing the love and hugging each other. We want you to see that love is all about. Yes, it is. We're having a great time over here at the Rose Bowl. So you have a great, great rest of the week. See you Thursday. Bye-bye. <laughs>